Hello there, it is Larry, uh, and it is my turn to do the devotional. I think we may be beyond 200 days of this pandemic. I know it began somewhere between March 10 and March 15 that we began having shutdowns in this country, and today, uh, as when I record this, I believe it is October 14th. I hope you get to watch this soon. But we are well beyond 200 days of this pandemic, and now we're only uh, two to three weeks away from the election. Actually, early voting in North Carolina begins on Thursday, October 15th. Many people have already voted on the absentee ballot. And as I've said many times before, and it's hardly a revelation, this is a challenging time and a difficult time in which we find ourselves, and a lot of people have a lot of stresses and a lot of anxieties and a lot of uh, turmoil. So it is a difficult time for we followers of Jesus. And I think uh, among the ways that we can deal with this is to love. In fact, I think fighting through most challenges in life with love is really the only way to go. And so today I wanted to share a couple of quotes with you from uh, another one of my people that I look up to, and that is William Sloan Coffin, who was uh, at the dean, dean of the Yale Divinity School and also was pastor for a long time in the 20th century uh, at the Riverside Church along the Hudson River in New York City. Our daughter Hannah, a Davidson grad, went to Union Theological Seminary in New York and graduated from there. And that campus is right beside the campus of the Riverside Church. And one day I lay down in her dorm bed to take a nap and I looked out Hannah's window and I was looking at the tower of the Riverside Church. And I thought to myself, well, this is a pretty cool place to take a nap. So anyway, the Reverend Cochran writes this about love. And he quotes scripture too. Make love your aim, not biblical inerrancy, nor purity, nor obedience to holiness codes. Make your make love your aim for though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, musicians, poets, preachers. You are being addressed. And though I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, professors, your turn. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, radicals, take note. And though I give my body to be burned, the very stuff of heroism, and have not charity, it profited me nothing. That is the King James Version of 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3. Through 3. And then the Reverend Dr. Coffin adds, I doubt if in any other scriptures of the world there is a more radical statement of ethics. If we fail in love, we fail in all things else. And this is a book of full of sayings from Dr. Co Reverend Dr. Coffin, and here's one more. Of God's love, we can say two things. It is poured out universally from, for everyone, from the Pope to the loneliest wino on the planet. And secondly, God's love does not seek value. It creates value. It is not because we have value that we are loved, but because we are loved that we have value. Our value is a gift. It is not an achievement. Let us pray. 
Gracious Lord, recognize, help us to understand that before we do anything, achieve anything, own anything, you call us to love. You have loved us, and that has given us value. Help us to respond to the love that you pour out to us each day with love not only for you, but for all human beings that we encounter in the course of a single day. Be with us all. Help us to be disciples of Jesus the Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Have a good day.